just basically because I don't know anything else to do in my life. I used to love abstraction, but I was never an abstract painter. Mm -hmm. But I have taken certain elements which are close to abstraction. And when it comes to a few of your other paintings I have checked in your website, they seem to be a fusion of realistic come abstract. Yes, yes. So how did you come up? Basically, mm -hmm. I, was, I, I was not an action painter. Uh, I was very still, composed, mm -hmm. and very carefully working on the canvas. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not, I, I was never a narrative uh, fellow, you know. I, I, I don't like narration in, in my painting. So what do I do with the painting? What do I do with the people? They've got the life. They've got to tell something that I cannot take it. They are not simply, simply you're not painting a woman standing. No? There's, there's a story behind every one of them and they would like to narrate it. And I'm the last one to adopt such kind of narrative works like, uh, like most of the fairy artists beginning in 1960s and uh, 1966 onwards for about 10-12 years. I was uh, visiting uh, scrapyards, mm -hmm. auto and uh, these uh, broken uh, accidents, by accidents, uh, these auto, there are several scrapyards, not only auto, from auto bodies, but anything, anything that that there, and again it depends what you choose, what you, what can be the best. So I used to do, for about 10, 12 years, I've worked on that medium. Somebody, some critic has used this word while writing about my work. Mm -hmm. Then I started looking at serialists <laughs> afterwards. Then really I studied, I bought some books and I said, how, where I can borrow certain elements from that, the idea of it, not really going into their period, but still. So that, but even now, I don't believe that uh, I, have, I had anything of that kind in my book. But still, uh, onlookers would feel that this is something that is, uh, the idea is borrowed from Cyrilism. It, it took for me, you know, each period, uh, sometimes I worked 12 years, sometimes 10 years. The only shortest uh, period that I've done, something called on reflections on the, on the surface of the water. Mm -hmm. It's all imaginative reflections. You don't see a lot of reflections in such a big, you know, water. water. But uh, I've used natural element in my game. So that was only four years, and that was totally more abstract than the real. Mm -hmm. I did about, continued working for about 50, 60 works I might have done in the four years period. Mm -hmm. And then again, pool of life, pool of life, oh God, so, it went on and went on so many, so many pictures and so many canvases. So finally got bored and uh, I have observed my colleagues doing in acrylic. Mm -hmm. Then I thought, till then, I was very sure that I would be a failure. I cannot do anything other than in oils. That was my weakness, you know. I always used to think like that, that I am not good for any other media. But eventually, I've, I've spent about six months. Yeah. So finally, I'm, I'm quite happy. Uh, these are the acrylics. This is my acrylics, not anybody's. The, the surface qualities and subject, the way you treat the pigment, it's all mine. I 100% I would say that. Okay. Love every color, including black, white, although you don't, technically you don't speak them, uh, you don't see them as color. But I, I like all colors, all colors, browns, blues, greens, and everything. In the initial stages, I used to depend very much on bronze, but uh, today, almost every, uh, every except mouse, I haven't done much work in mouse. Suzanne is my dearest painter. Mm -hmm. Then he has occupied Claude Pony in my mind. There's always a story behind every book. Mm. I don't have any story. I simply paint what I see and like it, that's all. I, I don't have to explain my work. 
It's just what inspires you and what That's you all. Like.